Hi there, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com. We're the creators of the Galleria theme. This video is designed to show you some of the features of the theme, and it also acts as a what's new video for those of you who have used Galleria or seen it in the past. We've just released version 2.0 of the theme, which has been completely redesigned from the ground up. Every section, every page has been touched and improved, and there's lots of new options to explore. So let's jump right in and take a look at what this theme has to offer. So first of all, we've got three different demos set up for this theme. This one is called Empire, which is a large inventory tech bags demo. We also have Boutique, which is a small to medium size fashion demo. And we have Showroom, which again is a small to medium size office furniture demo. But we think that pretty much any product line will be look great with this theme. Um, we just chose these three options but the options really are limitless. Whatever you need to sell, whether you have a really large inventory or you have a really small inventory, we think this theme is a great option. We hope you'll consider it. So let's take a look at some of the sections that you have on the homepage. First of all, going back to our Empire demo, you've got this really unique column slideshow. So research has really come to say that slideshows on homepages just really aren't all that effective. You basically have to sit around on the home page for 30 seconds, let's say, to see all the content of the slide as it slowly goes from one to the other. And most people just aren't willing to do that. So you've got these really large images and people just don't stick around long enough to see them. So we came up with this idea of this column slideshow that has the text for all the slides visible. And you can just hover your mouse over the different slides and see the image. So we think this is a really effective um, substitute for traditional slideshows. And this has been a really popular feature of this theme. So you can set two, three, or four columns of images here, and they just change seamlessly, really beautiful transition as you hover over them. And there's some different height options for this as well. Lots of different text options and link options. So it's really a nice tool. Continue down, take a look. This is our featured collection section, which has been, as I said, everything's been totally redesigned. We've got some new options for presenting your collections here. They can be shown as these circles. They can be shown as squares with rounded rectangles. We can show them as portrait images. There's lots of different ways to present your collections here, depending on how you want it to look. This is a rich text section with an image. You can optionally add the image on the left or right or you can just have a background image if you want, or just a background color. And you can add some text here, which is really great for SEO and just to introduce what your brand is all about. Got this gallery section here where you can add some images and link them to whatever you want. This is probably the largest and most impressive new section that we've added. This one's set up pretty basic here on Empire, but as you might've seen on the boutique demo here, you can really get creative with laying out the gallery section. Um, we've got options to choose color, colors for each of the text items, as well as positioning, um, size. You can choose different size um, widths for your images. You can create all kinds of different grid types for your gallery images to really make your store stand out. We think this is really an amazing feature that really no other theme can really touch, to be honest. This is a really cool feature. So we have a whole separate video on how to set this up and what are some of the things you can do with this new gallery section. So we'll move on from there, but I encourage you to check out that video. Further down, we've got a standard list of featured products here in a grid. Got this uh, video section here where you can have a video on the right or left of some text or also a background video. This video can display and play automatically like this one is, or it can be opened in a light box with the click of the play button, just like we see here. So that's a pretty cool feature. Further down, we've got testimonials that scroll through with optional author images here. We've got a large image hero, which you can also put text on. So if you don't want a slideshow, you might put this as the top section of your page and that's a great way to have a sort of minimal homepage without a lot of 
you know, large images loading is to put this at the top. You can also put it anywhere, of course, you want on the home page. Here's some latest blog posts in a nice card format. We've got an Instagram section here where we show images, the latest images from your feed. A map section with a Google Map integration where you can add some text for your store hours, address, information, get directions, etc. We've got this newsletter section that will appear on every page of your site if you want. And this can be configured to have the image on either side or again, a background image. So lots of different options for each of the sections. So I encourage you to play around with those. Let's look at the boutique section again, boutique demo again real quick, show you what's a little different about this one. Again, we got a standard featured product. This is another rich text section. This is a featured video that's playing automatically in the background with an optional blur. So that's kind of a striking feature. Testimonials again, a map. And this is a different layout for the featured blog posts. So we've got this image background as opposed to the cards that you saw here. So those are a couple different layout options for the blog posts. And of course, Instagram feed again. This one, we also have a Twitter feed, so you can show your latest tweets in this nice carousel. And there's a look at the full width newsletter sign-up box. Quickly on showroom, this one has a more standard traditional slideshow. So this is an option too, if you want. You click through the slides with arrows or dots and add text, of course, on multiple locations on the slide. This is a more traditional looking collection list. We've got another hero image with some text on it, some featured products, another hero image, and a rotating slider of logos here. So you can add some logos and link those to whatever you want. And this is a video section that's not playing automatically where you can add a background image and click the play button in order to launch that in a light box window. So I think that covers most of the sections the theme comes with. There's a total of 13 sections included for the homepage. We'll kind of tour the interface a little bit, going back to Empire. As you can see, it's possible to overlay your header behind images, and that can be done with the column slideshow, the hero, the regular slideshow, or a video. So you can have your um, logo and menu overlaid right on top of those features if you wish. Or as you can see in this demo, we just have them in it with a white background. So that's another option too. Got a search bar up here with your currency selection, user icon to access your account, and the card icon, of course, to access your cart and see how many items you have in the cart. There's two different menu styles. We've got this more traditional horizontal menu it also features mega menu support. So you can have up to four columns of menus per menu item. You can have two, three, or four, or a single column drop down like this one. You can also, instead of having them show in these columns, you can have them show nested. So you can have up to three, three layers of menus deep for the standard drop downs or four columns of a mega menu. That's all set up using just standard navigation menus in Shopify. Um, there's also a more minimal um, just hamburger menu option here for if you want a more traditional kind of sleeker new menu. Um, and so this pulls out this drawer. This is also the standard menu system on mobile where you've got drop down menus here. So you can see how that works. We've got social media icons at the bottom there. So those are the two different menu styles. And again, we've got search and card over here. So this is a very minimal header. Of course, showroom is also using the horizontal menu. So those are two different menu items. Let's jump over to a collection page here and see what we have. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that there is this large background image that you can add to just about any page. Um, so on collection pages, you'll see the collection featured image up here if you want um, as the background. Um, on regular pages, you can specify in the theme settings uh, different images for those. On the account pages, there's options to set those. 
So you've got a lot of different options for different background images, or if you don't have a lot of great photography, you can just use one image and show this as a background on pretty much every page. So that's a really nice looking uh, header there. Uh, looking at our collection page here, we've got sorting options here from a whole bunch of different options. We've got advanced group filtering built into this theme, which is a really popular function for larger stores that have a lot of products. It helps your customers narrow down your products based on this criteria that you set up using tags. So it's a really easy way for people that have a lot of products to narrow those down. Um, you have the option of showing this as a sidebar all the time, or there's also an option to show your products in a full width, and then there would be a filter products button that is sort of stuck to the bottom here that you can just click to see these. So, and that's also the default functionality on mobile, so people can access those really easily. Got some other sidebar widgets here for to list your collections and show a collection of products over here. We'll jump. Again, we've got quick view function, so you can quickly access um, a little bit of information about the product. Some images, you can choose your options, add it right to the cart. This is called the dynamic checkout button, which is Shopify has just introduced. And this payment method actually updates automatically based on the user. So for example, if they were browsing the item from an iPhone in Safari, then they might see the Apple Pay icon if you had that payment method enabled. So it's just a quick way to go directly to checkout and purchase this product. Got built-in support for Shopify's product reviews. So if you install that free app, you can get reviews for your store. The theme comes with swatch support. As you can see here, you can upload your own swatches, which I've done for this demo. So you can add your own little images here to show the customer what they're choosing. Um, for color options and then for standard options, you got this nice button. The images obviously adjust depending on your choices. There's the customer review option. We've got related products based on other products in the collection. Got three different slideshow options for your products, including this zoom function. You can have your thumbnail showing down below in a line. You can have them on the side going up and down, and you can also have a more standard slideshow with dots that you can just click through the images. So that's pretty cool. We've got some new um, some new page templates that are included, including a lookbook, which basically allows you to create a gallery like I showed you before on any page you want. So we've created a nice looking gallery you can have the images load larger in a light box window like this as you click on them, or you can specify links for each one. So this is a great way to show off some newer products or basically just do whatever you want with it. And you can create these really intricate grid layouts really easily. So that's a nice new template. We also have an FAQ template for questions and answers where you can just add questions and answers in your theme settings. Then they show in this nice accordion. Taking a look at the blog real quick, we've got a few different layouts for your blog. We can do it in columns, you can do it in a list. There's a lot of different options for that. Click on that and that's what the what a blog post looks like. This is using the blog featured image for the background. Comments, if you have them enabled, are included as well as uh, social media sharing. We've got a contact us page with a built-in Google Map, again, similar to the home page. You simply type in an address. You have to get an API key for Google, but that's pretty easy to do. You can add store information, hours, get directions to your store, etc. We've also got a built-in contact form here. So that's pretty cool. Continuing down, I believe that about covers most of the sections and all of the options that are included with the theme. But as I said, totally redesigned really nice new features. Um, it's really well uh, optimized for speed. Uh, the quick view, for example, loads only when you click on it. It doesn't load in the background, which has been done in past themes, which causes a lot of overhead to your site. All the images in the theme are lazy loaded, so they only load as you scroll to the viewport. So 
it's just a snappy experience. And I think you'll really enjoy this working with this theme. So I think that about covers it. If you, I encourage you to go to the Shopify theme store, click try this theme on Galleria and download it to your Shopify store. You can play around with all the options before you decide if you wanna purchase it or not. And if you have it before, if you've purchased it already, I would consider upgrading to the latest version. If you can, it is a bit of a pain to do that, unfortunately, but um, you, you, it, there's never a charge to download the latest version of any of our themes. So if you want to try it out, I encourage you to do so and just check out all the new features and the great new looks and designs and all of the, all the different customization options you have in the theme settings. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. As always, if you have any questions, we have really good support please email us at support at milehighthemes.com or click the contact us link at the top of our homepage. Thank you again and have a great day.